The Russian Federation Security Service is fighting in the Kursk region and is unsuccessfully trying to coordinate combat missions with the military. As reported by the Institute for the Study of War, the Russian opposition newspaper Novaya Gazeta Evropi identified a serviceman of the FSB Special Forces who died in battles in the Kursk region in August 2024. An FSB officer told the publication that the agency's leadership had tasked special forces, including elements of the Alpha and Vimpel groups, with identifying and destroying the Ukrainian armed forces, sabotage and reconnaissance groups. According to the source, these groups are poorly suited to conducting combined battles with the use of heavy equipment against regular armed forces. Usually, special service fighters conducted counter-terrorist operations against small terrorist groups and therefore do not have sufficient training and equipment necessary to respond to the Ukrainian armed forces. Another source close to the Russian special services added that the FSB Special Operations Center does not have common communications with military units and there is still no common headquarters to coordinate combat missions between them. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the FSB to conduct a counter-terrorist operation in the Belgorod, Bryansk and Kursk regions on August the 9th, following the start of the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation on August the 6th. However, he then began assigning duplicate tasks to the Ministry of Defense, the FSB and the Russian National Guard. The Kremlin and the military have tried to create a coherent and effective command and control structure, but it remains unclear who has what responsibilities. Analysts believe that duplication of tasks and weak structures will create friction between the FSB and the Russian Defense Ministry. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region has already shown certain results. In particular, it slowed down the Russians and forced them to redeploy about 40,000 soldiers. According to experts in the Kursk region of Russia, the Ukrainian armed forces appear to have entered the rear of the Glushkov group of Russians. Russian ruler Putin does not need the Kursk region at all, says retired colonel of the Ukrainian armed forces, pilot instructor and military expert Roman Svitan. The Kremlin will not even notice if they completely lose this region. Сука, не тупи нахуй, давай быстрее, блядь. Где? Держите на прицеле. Где? 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 Я на точку кину сейчас. Так, подожди, блядь. Под, а... Кидай нахуй, все, сука. Сейчас я вернусь. Пацаны, а, алло, тут сейчас идет гость, тихо, блядь, не без резких движений, дистанцию нахуй от меня, вы заебашу сейчас, не понял, сука, дистанцию, говорю, туда, блядь, стал, быстро, блядь, еще раз говорю, сейчас ноги прихуярю, нахуй. Я, блядь, не шучу. Значит, блядь. Брод! Что делаем? На Авдет? На Авдет тут спит. Еще раз? Авдет на заспал. Блядь, пацаны, есть хуйня какая-то? Быстрее, блядь, кто тут на ре? Выходите, блядь. Сяшки дайте, блядь. Держи его на прицеле, нахуй. Что тут за хуйня у тебя в руках? Документы, молодец, блядь. Дай документы сюда, нахуй. Сюда их, нахуй. Кидай, блядь. Все, блядь, нахуй. Давай, стяжки ему, нахуй. 
Не знаю. Блин. Зайди обратно, значит, блядь, братан, быстрее на. Зайди обратно. Были это практически стрельбы зенитно-артиллерийского комплекса SkyNex и по разных типах повітряних целей. Все излагоджено работают. Слава Украине!